Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, I am going to show you a very good Laravel package, which is called Laravel ID Helper Generator. By using this Laravel package, you can easily auto-complete almost everything in your IDE. I'll be using VS Code in my case, but it is also very useful for PSP Storm. So let me show you what I meant. So here I have a user model here in my project. If you just look here, I have this user model over here. And now if I try to just say user like this, and it is already imported over here, user. And if I do where like this, then it is not auto completing for me. So if I say first, then it is showing this floss events listener, but it is not showing me all the methods that are available in a model. And also each and every properties that is available in the model, it is also not showing me this. So if I just say first like this, yeah, and say let's say user like this and if i just say here user and email sorry for that user and if i try to access here email like this or email verified ad then it will not auto complete if you see here these things this is just the things that my id is trying to guess it is not showing me exactly the columns that is present in the users and it is showing me these in the drop down because i had tried to access this previously not because these are the fields that is present in this user model okay and you can see here in front of this you can see here abc 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 which means that the id is trying to guess it and if you hadn't accessed this property before email verified or email then the id will not show you this autocomplete and the pack is this laravel id helper just solves that problem for us so let us first install it so i'll just copy it and let me just paste it over here before that let me comment this thing otherwise it will throw an error the package is now installed and let us also let me go ahead just publish all this config file so i'll paste it this and you can see here these are the things that are added over here the config file is also added as you can see here now in order to generate that we have to run this command psp artisan ide helper generate so i'll run that command and hit enter it will generate many helper methods for us it will generate a file called this ide helper and if we just go here inside sorry not this one but here it is ide helper this psp file and you can see here all the helper methods that is available over here. First, you have to do this. All the core Laravel functionality will be added over here. But for the models themselves, there is a different thing. But we have to always run this one first. And then we ha I have to run this PSP Artisan ID helper models. And I'll paste that over here, PSP Artisan ID helper models and hit enter. Then it will ask me, do you want to override the existing model files? I'll just say no over here. If I write yes over here, then it will write so many things in this user model. It will just write all the properties of that user and methods here as a dog dog, but we don't want that behavior. So since I wrote here, no, it created this ID helper models.psp and it is over here and it wrote all those generated code over here in this file now what it does is now let me go here in the home controller and now if i just try to access first over here then you can see here all it is auto completing and here in front of this method you are not seeing here abc okay it is just this cube over here which means that it is actually auto completing from the actual model. So I'll write here first like this and you can see here columns also all the parameters name also we can see after that. Okay. Now here also, if I try to access the properties of the user, then you can see here I am getting so many auto completion. And if I just say here email verified at, then you can see here a range symbol at the left, which means that the IDE is not trying to guess, but it is giving me all the fields that is actually present in the user model. And I can just click here, then it will just auto complete it. And it will take all this data from the migration files. And also we can access all the relationship methods also over here. So let me go here in the user. And if we see here, the relationship method the logins then i'll say logins like this then i can automatically get the logins relationship and if you see here like this this cube icon 
if I click here, then it will generate a method for me. But if I just do like this and if I just click here in the logins or you can just use up and down arrow keys, then it will give me the relationship property. So all the features that is present in the Laravel that our IDE cannot autocomplete. This package helps the IDE to understand it and autocomplete. And also if you are using this PSP Storm, then you can just run this as well. And if I just click here, then you can see here, it will autocomplete automatically these methods from here as well. So if you run this app make or like this app make events, then it will automatically know that it is trying to access the events. So we can easily run fire method, but currently I think in the latest version, there is the dispatch method. So it can automatically do that, but it is only available for PHP storm and I don't have PHP storm installed, so I cannot show you that. But if you have, then you can try it. But I think PHP storm is smart enough to automatically know it, but I don't know because since I haven't used it. So let me know in the comment section below if you are using PHP storm. And suppose let's say you added any new models or you just pulled in a package that had some models or something like that then you need to again run these commands. But before that, you need to always run this PHP artisan clear compiled. So for that, you can just do here like this PHP artisan clear combined this double ampersand sign PHP artisan ID helper generate again double ampersand sign and PHP artisan ID helper models like this and just hit enter. Then it will automatically run all those commands and it is showing error because I forgot to comment it out and now if I again run that then it will compile everything and I'll say no over here and hit enter then it will again generate all the auto completion things that is necessary for our IDE and these errors are showing because if we look here in the app service provider I have added this relation enforce morph map and here I haven't written this category and user so it is showing me an error if I just comment this out and let me just run this again and turn no then you can see here i cannot see any error but instead of commenting here you need to write all the models or map all the models over here this is just an extra thing you don't need to worry about it so what do you think about this package just let me know in the comment section below and you can find a lot more very very useful laravel package that has been developed by barry wade and i'd like to thank him very very much for creating such package so that our id can easily understand our laravel internal things and give us auto completion so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye